Are you looking to switch from a personal YouTube account to a brand YouTube account? Or have you switched from a personal YouTube account to a brand account and your YouTube channel was deleted? You guys, do not panic because this has happened to me and I felt like my life was shattering right in front of my eyes. And it's like zero to no information on the web about this. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how I got my YouTube channel back. This is gonna be a very in-depth what happened to me. So I want you to listen to everything, especially if you are switching from a personal account to a brand account. This is all the tips that I wish that I knew. So you guys, like this video right now and subscribe to your girl, show me some love. I'm going to tell you of how I climbed, dug myself up out of this misery. You guys, I'm going to tell you how I got my YouTube channel back. So if you want to learn, then continue watching. Hello, beautiful souls. My name is Candace, and welcome to my channel where everything's perfect. Throw up them hearts, including you. So hi, so family. Hi, how's everyone doing today? I know a lot of you guys may be panicking right now. I know your life seems like it's falling apart maybe. So do not panic. I have tons of notes right here. So definitely be patient with me. This video is definitely going to be very in depth. I just wanted to say as well, why, why would I put myself through this mess of like doing this? Why did I even want to switch from a personal account to a brand account? because I am looking for growth. And with a brand account, you're able to add managers onto it. They have their personal login, as well as you do not have to use your email as your YouTube channel name. So it could have separate names. You're able to sell your YouTube channel. Let's say you're making smoothies and you have a YouTube channel about it and somebody wants to buy your smoothie brand, you are able to sell it. So it's so many great benefits of having a brand channel. Send this video to all your friends that's thinking about starting a YouTube channel because I wish in the beginning of my YouTube channel journey that I just started with a brand account in the first place and I wouldn't even be in this mess, you know? So, but I dug myself out and I just wanted to give a special, special thanks to YouTube for helping me because I thoroughly researched and they said you have to have a thousand subscribers, you guys, just to even get in contact with YouTube support. I am a small YouTuber. I have basically 250 subscribers. So you guys, if you see this, subscribe, support your girl, because I come with all the good good, by the way. You know, I'll let you know about that later on, but we're gonna stick on this. It's kind of like, you feel like it's no hope for you when you, when this happens, because you are, you're not a brand account, because if you are a brand account, you'll be able to get your channel back if it is deleted. And you're a small YouTuber, so it's like, YouTube, uh, why, would you, do you even care about me? But yes, they do, because they help me out. And I am a very, very small YouTuber, and I got all my videos, 90-some videos back. And I just wanted to say, if you are already a brand account, you can go in your settings, and I dropped that website right here, of just to get your YouTube channel back, because if you are a brand account, it's like, it can't be deleted. It'll be like in the archives of whatever and you can just retrieve it. But this is for all my personal account people that basically have no hope. It is hope. It is light at the end of the tunnel. So right here, I'm showing you how to get back a brand account. Type in myaccount.google.com slash brand. Click sign in Google accounts. So on this page right here, it's gonna show you all your brand accounts. So click on deleted accounts. So right here is gonna show all your deleted brand channels. I deleted two channels right here. So just click that circle icon and this will bring back your deleted brand channel. So refresh your page and wham, there it is. It's right there. If you go right back to deleted channels, it's just one in there now. It was two before, so I got it back. Are you wondering if you are a brand channel? Hit your channel icon at the top right hand corner. Hit settings and then go to view advanced settings. And then right here it says move channel to a brand channel. This is not a brand channel. 
Now I'm going to show you a channel that is a brand channel. I have a new channel right here. You're going to hit your channel icon and then you're going to go down to settings like you did before. And then we're going to go to view advanced settings like we did before. Now you see this one says move channel to your Google account or to a different brand account. This one right here is a brand channel. So right now I'm going to show you how to switch your personal account to a brand account and where I possibly think that I went wrong. Listen to me very, very close because this has been racking my brain about how I messed this up. You know how I showed you how to see if you are a brand channel? It says move to a brand channel. I think, I think, I don't know for sure that I clicked that button first and you must make a new channel before clicking that button. So right now we're going to make a new channel. So go to your channel icon at the top right hand corner of this video and then we're going to go to settings. So like I said before, we are making a new channel. So you see how it says add or manage your channel. You add a channel by clicking that. So click add or manage your channel. So you guys, remember when I said one of the most amazing great benefits of having a brand channel is that you can name it separately than your email address. So right here, we're going to name our channel and I am naming my love Lee and underneath it has that box that you're going to have to check. It says, I understand that I am creating a new Google account with its own settings, including YouTube search and watch history. So now hit create note to self. This new channel that you are making, this new brand channel is the channel you're going to switch your personal channel over to. So we're about to do that now. So as you can see, I have my new channel right here called lovely. We're about to switch to the new channel. We're going to go to our channel icon at the type right hand corner and then go to switch accounts. So right here, we're going to switch to Candace channel with four subscribers. That's my personal channel with the lovely branded channel that I just made. So hit Candace channel. We're going to go in that. That's my personal channel. So we're going to go into the icon at the top right hand corner. And then we're going to go to settings. And then we're going to go to view advanced settings. And like I said before, it's going to say move channel to a brand channel. We're going to hit that now. I think this is where I messed up, you guys. I hit that first, and then I tried to do the switcheroo thing. So, yeah, we're going to hit that now because we already have the other channel name. So, we're going to have to put in our password right here. So, right here, you see my Candace channel with the four subscribers right there. We're going to switch that to the lovely channel. We're going to hit replace. So, what you're seeing right now is we're about to override this lovely channel, this new brand channel with my personal channel. So we're gonna get rid of this. So this is about to be deleted and replaced with my new channel with the four subscribers. So click that, I understand, and then click delete channel because we don't need this. This has zero subscribers. We want all our content on this channel. So right here, they're asking you, are you sure? Are you sure you want to move and update your channel? Basically, you're going to replace it with my four subscribers. Yes, I want all my subscribers. I'm ready to be a brand channel. Click move channel. So now they want to see where you want to move all these lovely four subscribers over to. The lovely channel or the love channel. We're going to choose the lovely channel. So just click replace and now it is moved. So now just refresh it, go to your channel icon, then go down to switch channels. And you can see now that my lovely channel is now gone and it's replaced with my Candace channel with the four subscribers. So all my content is now moved over. There are two kinds like negative things that will happen when switching from a personal account to a brand account. The first thing is that you lose all of your comments, like your comments, not your subscriber comments or people that come to your channel and put a comment on your channel. But any of your comments that you have and pin, like me, I like to pin a comment on all of my videos. So I would suggest if you want all your comments back, then you would just have to go through all of your videos and comment back. But for me, I already commented to them. So then they see a notification and I commented again and then they'll be like, what happened to her comment? Did she delete my comment and we made one? It's just a confusion. So I'm just replying back to all of my new comments. You guys, I do reply to all of my comments, all of them. And so 
yeah so ask me anything down below so another kind is that you, you lose your personal url i want to say that your url you get you can apply to get it after having your channel for a month and so that's just like www.youtube slash simply candace love you know whatever it is that's your custom url so you lose that so this is what i was seeing when my youtube channel was deleted like i said my heart dropped like it was saying that the subscriber count is unavailable and one thing i noticed is that i still had all my subscriptions all the people that i subscribed to i had that and all my like videos i had that and you guys another note is all this stuff of switching all these settings are done on a desktop it's not done on your phone or ipad and so if you do have an ipad or a phone you just have to put your put it on like desktop mode because you have to go in your settings to see all this stuff i told myself <laughs> do not panic it's loading so i just i was up for like three hours trying to figure this out i was because it happened around midnight so i was up to like three four in the morning and just i just told myself go to sleep is loading and at the end of the day it's nothing that you could do about it so you guys please do not panic do not put yourself in stress mode about this so you guys this is how you get your youtube channel back this is how i got it back you have to go to twitter and you guys your girl do not have a twitter and i do not know how to use twitter so i had to watch tutorials on youtube of how to use twitter it's kind of kind of self-explanatory i guess a little bit i still really don't understand the whole twitter stuff but it's to me it's like text messages but long story short you have to go on twitter so if this is important to you and you do not have a twitter you guys it's simple and easy download twitter watch a little 10 minute video about how to use twitter and tweet them and this is how you get your channel back like like i said you guys i am a very very small youtuber i have less than 250 subscribers and i got my youtube channel back so you guys if you're watching this definitely hit that like button if you haven't hit it yet and subscribe okay so this is what you say to them hello at at team youtube make sure you at team youtube and this is what i put please i need help retrieving my youtube channel it was deleted trying to convert my channel to a branded channel so make sure you tell them the situation that happened, whatever it is. It is not a brand channel before getting deleted. So definitely put in if it is a brand channel or if it is not a brand channel because they're gonna ask you. So you might as well tell them immediately upon writing this, just get through and everything that they need to know. And then I put, please help. Here is a link to my deleted channel so add a leak to your deleted channel and i know it's like how am i going to get this leak to my deleted channel what i did is that on my instagram i have like the insta bio and my friend showed me how to put all my links in there and i just went in there and copied and pasted it but if you ever sent your deleted channel to somebody like the channel to somebody you know, sending it through Messenger or text messages, just go to that deleted URL and copy the URL. It's gonna say it doesn't go to anything, but take it and paste it right there. <laughs> and then I put thanks in advance. So definitely tweet them and they will get back to you expeditiously. I don't know if I'm saying the word right. You know, like how Tia said expeditiously. I don't know how I said, but yeah, they will get back to you. And if they do not get back to you, definitely tweet them again. But one thing that I did is that I did not want to overly like bug them because I didn't want them to get irritated with me. So I just tweeted them one time and I wanted to say that a day later they wrote me back. So definitely you guys, be patient, be patient. This is a process and I know it's kind of hard to say be patient, but that's what I had to tell myself. And you guys, I'm on my spiritual journey, so I always have to drop gems in all my videos. Really, I had to tell myself that even if it was deleted and I cannot get it back, that I was gonna have to start over. 
and that everything happens for a reason you know and maybe my reason of why my youtube channel was deleted is to help others get their channel back and hopefully help me grow my channel as well and so definitely look at it as that and maybe it's another opportunity for you to have another new platform whatever it is just look at it like that you guys and be patient be very patient be kind to yourself this is a mistake that could happen to anyone and this is what i wish i knew before i switched from my personal account to a brand account and so they said thank you for sending this our way my sharing the date and time the transfer was made we'll wait for your reply so this happened like midnight because i'm a late night like every time i'm doing my youtube stuff is i'm up late at night i know y'all don't care about this but i'm telling i'm telling y'all anyway i'll be up late at night so i was going through my settings and i'm like why not i'm trying to grow into this this mobile i'm gonna have all these big dreams switch to a brand account now while you are still small and yeah so that's the time so I, I tweeted them that so i said and replied to that i said thank you so much for getting back to me this happened friday the 15th around midnight i've been trying to fix it ever since so that's what i did right now i'm about to pop up all the tweets after of how the conversation went until i got my youtube channel back So yes, this is how long it took me to get my YouTube channel back. It took a week. This happened on a Friday of one week. And then the next week I got it back on a Sunday. And so you guys, if you never had a Twitter like me, definitely turn on like your notifications. And like, so whenever they tweeted me, I wanted to be on top of it. I didn't want to wait two, three days. If you are serious about getting your channel back like me like this was this is my baby this is my life you know what i'm saying this is my goal whenever they tweeted me i definitely was on top of it so i feel like that kind of speeded up the process as well so right now i want to give a special thanks to twitter Woo -hoo! thank you twitter and at team youtube at twitter for whoever that was behind scenes writing me because i know i'm just a wee little small youtuber but my content means the world to me. I love you forever and more for helping me to get my channel back. You guys, if you don't get nothing from me, I want you guys to take this information with you. Back up your videos. This is one reason why I believe that I was not stressing a lot because I knew that I had all my videos. They weren't going forever. Something told me, you guys, this is the spiritual side of me talking. <laughs> Something told me, like, I want to say like four months ago to invest in this. This is kind of like a pricey penny. It was like a hundred and something dollars. But it's well worth it. I think this, you know, I'm going to pop it up here. I think this is great. I, I will make a video about it if you guys want me to about this product. But it is amazing. And it's compatible to my, this is an iPad Pro. And... I want to say that you can use it with a laptop as well, but definitely do your research. Like I said, if you do want me to make a video about this, I will. But this gives me a peace of mind. And I feel like this is one of the main reasons why I was not stressing because I would have been able to make another YouTube channel and upload my video to it as well as if I just wanted to have it just for anything. It would never be gone because I have very like sentimental videos on my channel that mean the world to me so definitely you guys if you take nothing back up your content on all platforms back it up this is a life lesson to just one start off your channel with a brand channel not only start off your channel with a brand channel be very patient kind to yourself and have faith have faith because I really truly had faith that I was going to get my YouTube channel back, but at the end of the day, even if it did not come back, I still had faith that everything was going to work itself out how it's supposed to, you guys. And that's in life in general. I'm just saying, no matter what it is in your life, 
anything, anything, whatever you are going through, be patient with yourself. If, if it's weight loss, if it's a career, if it's a relationship, family, whatever it is, whatever it is, you guys, be very patient, be present with yourself, live in the moment, enjoy the moment. And you can't live in a moment when you're stressing about the past. Oh, my YouTube channel was deleted or the future. Oh, when am I going to get my channel back? Live in the present. You know what I'm saying? Even if I don't get my channel back, that was meant to happen. I'm going to make an even better channel. Guess what? I thought about it as like, Look at all that I learned on this journey. I learned how to edit my videos. I learned how to do thumbnails. I learned how to talk in front of a camera. The description box, everything that goes into learning how to do a YouTube. So I know that when I do, if I was, if I did have to start a new YouTube channel, that I was not starting at the beginning. I went, I would be going into it with a, even better fresher mind of how to do it and so just look at it like that you guys look at it like that and be patient with youtube okay be very patient with them i know you like i want my channel back now i want it now you guys and then that's just another thing i'm like they ain't gonna care nothing about me like who am i she ain't got no following you know what I'm saying? Why would I help her get her channel back? You know, these that's the devil thoughts that was running through my mind. <laughs> like, but YouTube helped me tremendously and I'm forever grateful. So definitely love on you. Give yourself some self-love. If you are having a bad day today, go out, do something nice. Even if it's going out to eat at your favorite restaurant, if it's unhealthy, who cares? Go and do it. Live in the moment, live in the present, and just for today, just for today. And tomorrow you'll be back on top of it. And just know I am sending you tons of love and I care, I truly care. You guys, it is a lot for it to come to this channel. I forgot to tell y'all what this channel is all about. It's about health and fitness, you know what I'm saying? I lost 60 pounds and I've been keeping it off for a year and a half. And not only that, it's about spirituality. So if you are going through the dark night of the soul, that's that's that ego death, that's that spiritual depression. That's where you are losing your false self, the ego self. I make videos all about that. I have healthy recipes like smoothies and zoodables that's zucchini noodles and a lot of good recipes and all natural products you know what i'm saying like thinks underwear menstrual cups and yoni eggs and anything airy fairy spirituality that a lot of people are very scared about i make videos all about that you guys so if you like this video on how i got my youtube channel back hit that thumbs up button right now uh-huh uh-huh right now because i'm gonna be coming through with all the good good health and fitness talking about that internal beauty exuding outwardly because there's nothing about that internal beauty shining through for me so subscribe because guess what I'm going to keep them videos coming because I got my channel back. I'm going to keep them videos coming. Yes. You guys, it's time to turn up. You guys, it is nothing but to the top for me from here. I got my YouTube channel back. And not only that, I believe I have faith. So build you a strong faith because you are perfect. Yes, you. You're perfect. You're perfect. You are perfectly human. Yes, throw up them hearts, throw up them hearts. Perfect gang and no gang, let's connect. Thank you so much for watching this video. I pray that this video helped you a ton. I pray that you get your video back. I pray that you do not stress and worry that everything is happening in divine timing and order. It is teaching you something. Have a good day. Bye-bye.